blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, and I'm back with another quick lesson, low ones edifying, straight and to the point. And as you see in the title of this lesson, the purge is still going to happen. All right, somewhere along those lines will be the title of this video. The purge is still going to happen. All right, and the inspiration from this lesson comes from an article that I read a few days ago. Let me scroll through the community section right here. So two days ago, I posted this and I entitled it The Purge Election Year. So I'm going to read the caption and I'm going to go to the actual article, get a couple scriptures, speak on it, and that'll be that. So as you see here, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, they issued a warning. So it says the U.S. Department of Homeland Security sounded the alarm Wednesday, All right, which was four or five days ago or something like that. Um, they issued or sounded the alarm Wednesday warning Americans it expects an increased risk of violence leading up to the 2024 election cycle. Secretary of DHS Alejandro Mayorkas issued a National Terrorism Advisory System Bulletin which said infrastructure, faith institutions, and government facilities are likely for attacks or are likely targets for attacks and that's why i entitled it the purge election year because we know nothing is by coincidence and esau edom don't you know he got a, a thing where he has to push the truth out in plain sight hidden in plain sight so to speak as a mockery to the people so that somehow somewhere their hands are clean for the things that they're going to bring forth and it's also called predictive programming, all right? We spoke, we speak on these things many times, you know, so the purge is still going to happen and the buildup is going to be insane, all right? I mean, not to mention you got Esau so-called allowing or allowing so-called immigrants, quote-unquote immigrants, all right, which really they're native to this land to begin with, but these people are coming up here to Babylon seeking some type of help, refuge, Isaiah 30, Isaiah 31, you know, seeking some type of liberty and freedom. But when SHTF and these people are in the midst of these things, this is going to be a recipe for disaster and chaos. I think, what is it called? Title 42 or ending Title 42, you know, which is to put a stop on a border crisis or whatever. But anyway, let me just read a couple um, comments and then I'm going to get the scriptures and then I'll be that. The purge is still going to happen. If you ain't watched the series, the movies on um, Purge, go watch it. The Purge, the first Purge, Purge Anarchy, Purge Election Year, and is there another one? I believe that's all for them. But anyway, it says, uh, let me see. I'm just going to read these comments and get my scriptures. So anyway, it says, um, awesome, they should also televise all meetings since they, are, since they are so important to the end of speaking. This is... Malcolm after the missile, second edge is 15, which that's the scripture I'm gonna go into. Alright, that's the precept or the chapter I'm gonna go into. So second edge is 15 and 15. For the sword and their destruction draw not. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. And guess what? I'm gonna say this. Those that are gonna stand up and fight with swords in their hands, which is the modern day gun, that's not that's not the elect. Alright, that's not the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That those are gonna be the Egyptian against the Egyptian. That's Isaiah the nineteenth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. The Egyptian against the Egyptian. Alright, those are gonna be the ones that are gonna stand up and fight for, for the lack of bread, for famine, for food shortages, for uncertainty. Those are gonna be those people. Which is gonna lead me to the rest of the comments I'm gonna read. Alright, so new face says the water always for the heads up, no doubt. 
uh, too truthful. My faith in the Father is ready in my guns. Well, you know what? The first is better than the latter. All right, faith in your Yahweh Shem Yahushua because guns ain't gonna save you. All right, your weapons ain't gonna save you. Believe that. Your guns, your weapons ain't gonna save you. All right, and there's another comment that says something similar. Let me read this. Mar Judith, tribe of Zebulon. I don't know how to say it in English, but they're literally telling everybody the next moves, next set of moves. Absolutely, predictive programming. Also, like 9/11, they they put out a whole lot of things on predicting 9/11, so-called predicting. They they forecasted it. They ain't predicted like if it was something like, um, you know, like, um, like a, like a, like just something that just popped out of nowhere. No, it was a forecast. They said it before it happened. All right. It says those places should expect to be targeted by the U.S. governments. And this person, behold, the age of old. Get your guns ready. Well, your guns ain't gonna save you. All right, your guns is not gonna save you. Matter of fact, let me get this preset real quick. This is um, hold on. Jeremiah 17 and 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. So, curse is that man that put his trust in the man. All right, curse is that man that trusts in man because we trust in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's what we trust in the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. So if you trust in the man, especially the man of this world, Esau, Edom, like Isaiah 30 and Isaiah 31 states, if you trust in that man, then you're done. All right, you're cursed. It says, and maketh flesh his arm. Flesh is the carnal, and you make it, you make it your arm, which is your strength, which is your gun. All right, because everybody else that's gonna be out here, swords in their hand, Egyptian against Egyptian. Fighting against one another, they make flesh their arms. They're the ones that are hoarding up bullet um ammos, rounds, magazines, clips, whatever, guns and 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 different things of that nature. Alright, preparing for what's about to go down. So if you're an Israelite, see that's Esau's blessing. If you're an Israelite, your blessing is spiritual. You better load up on your spiritual blessings and let Esau load up on his fleshly blessings because we're gonna see which blessing is gonna overtake which blessing. All right, we trust in the spiritual blessings. Us of the hopeful elect, we trust in the spiritual blessing, which is spiritual power, faith, and hope in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Fuck, fuck all the other shit. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right, because they ain't gonna save your ass. It says, whose heart departed from the Lord? Because once you thought, you know, start trusting in carnal means of defense, then you you, you pretty much departed from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Point blank. Period. All right. So let me go and do this real quick. Let me see something. So this is a couple articles real quick. It says DHS warns of attack against government buildings. Minority groups ahead of 2024 election. All right, because we know a lot of people want, you know, um, eagle face Trump back in office. And then, it, yeah, yeah, the division is real out here in Babylon. The scriptures say if, if Satan be divided against Satan, how could his kingdom stand? So the division is really real out here in Babylon the Great. All right. So it says the Department of Homeland Security is warning about the potential for violence in the lead up to the 2024 election, which guess what? That's that's on what a year and a half from now. All right. You got six more months. We all we damn near in June. So you got six more months till December, the end of this year. And then November 2024 will be election. Right. And then you have presidential election. Right. Then you have 2025 january january will be inauguration so in less than two years there's gonna be if the lord allow will be new, will be a new president sitting up in office all right in about a year and seven months you know showing you how fast time is flying you know so hey are we gonna be in the time of the purge election year lord willing we are i can't see why not but anyway, the Department of Homeland Security is warning about the potential for violence in the lead up to the 2024 election cycle that can target the nation's critical infrastructure, faith-based institutions, government facilities, and minority communities, according to a bulletin posted Wednesday. In the coming months, DHS expect um, the threat environment to remain heightened and that individuals be may be motivated to violence by um, per perception of the 2024 general election cycle the national terrorism advisory system bulletin said adding that legislative or judicial decisions 
pertaining to a socio-political issue may also motivate attackers and man listen those precipitations according to the senior dhs officials may arise if misinformation spreads in 2024 look at that another buzzword misinformation all right misinformation so we do know that there's going to be attack on real information true information which is called famine and hearing the word so don't be surprised if you know more censorship is added to esau's agenda by the by the end of this year going into 2024 the next presidential election don't be surprised if we offer youtube by then you know different platforms and so on and so forth so it says as it did in 2020 because remember 2022 there was a whole lot of information man listen if they could have shut down the internet in 2020 they would have did it all right so another four years 2024 which is next year could be the last time you're on youtube it says that the u.s election system is rigged or flawed and that was the whole thing you know so remember the whole information misinformation about the the, the 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 elections being rigged blah 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 whatever whatever they could use that as a cautionary event to avoid this up and coming election which is going to lead to chaos if they do that so anyway let me get my precepts and then i'll be that no one i could keep this under approximately 20 minutes so let me go to um ecclesiasticus chapter 15 and i'm gonna start at the top i mean i'm sorry second ezra's second ezra's chapter 15 and i'm gonna start at the top you probably read about 15 verses 19 verses in it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy that i will put in thy mouth save the lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true so we are prophesying unto the people all right the lord put it in our mouth to prophesy eat the roll and speak to the house of israel as the lord commanded and we are doing such all right doing exactly that why because they're faithful and true and it says fear not the imaginations against thee all right all the main the vain imaginations that they got conjured up against the elect we don't fear that it says let not the incredulity which is the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness it's all about faith it's all about faith if you ain't got faith without faith it is impossible to please them all right so all the unfaithful are going to die in their unfaithfulness if you don't have faith you don't believe you don't trust you ain't trusting the process the most high gonna kill you all right if you ain't trusting the process that the lord has set before all of us then the lord the lord ain't effing messing with you man point blank period it says behold save the lord i'll bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled therefore save the lord I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth out unto me, and the souls that are just complain continually. And the souls that are just is talking about the elect. All right, the, pra the, pa um, the prayers of the saint pierced at the clouds. That's in, um, in Ecclesiastes 35. All right, the prayers of the saints. You know, the prayer of the humble, pierce of the sky. So the Lord's getting ready to send sword, famine, death, destruction. But the elect will be delivered from all that. So verse 9 says, And therefore, save the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people's led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, which is modern day Babylon, America. But I will bring them with their mighty hand and stretch their arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof which is tying into um sec um jeremiah the 16th chapter verse 14. it says egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten and the plagues with the plagues and the punishment that the most high will bring upon it all right america is going to mourn it's going to be smitten by the through the foundations because of the plagues and the punishment the lord is getting ready to judge babylon the great all right, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash is getting ready to judge Babylon the Great. All right, with a great judgment. And everybody that's not right with the Lord is going to get caught up in it. It says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail the blast, through the blasting in hell and with the fearful consolation, meaning famine is coming. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hand which is civil war civil unrest all right which is coming to babylon the egyptian against the egyptian 
And the elect is not going to get caught up in that. All right, the elect ain't going to be out there, you know, running to gun shops and trying to get guns and, to, you know, no. The elect, the elect is going to trust in you how about Shemir Arshad. Like I said, if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. If your law allow, then that's that. I mean, um, if your state allow, your state law allow, then that's that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if you're trusting in your weapons and your carnal guns, swords, machetes, bow and arrows, crossbows and shit like that, and setting up booby traps and different bunkers and all that crazy shit, then you, your mind ain't in the right place, man. You know, we fully, totally trust in Yahweh Bashim Shah to raise us up when these mother effers out here start going buck wild. All right? And I believe the Lord is going to raise brothers up in that time. Straight up. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. How else is brothers going to be able to get by? How else? You know, how else? You know, Esau's blessings are sore. And you better believe there's Edomites out there with way more arsenal than you got. You know, for those individuals talking about get your guns ready, it's time to trust, you know, you know, whatever. Get your gun, whatever, man. All right? That ain't the way, B. Straight up. I'm telling you like it is. That's that, that niggerhood mentality, whatever. No. All right? You come into this faith, you got to be a new creature in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You got to be straight up faithful in this thing. You know? It says, in invading one another, they should not regard their kings nor princes and their courses of their actions are standing in their power. Meaning, they're not going to regard their government officials, mayors, you know, um, police, military, whatever. Whomsoever the powers that be, they ain't going to regard them. Because it's going to be all about food. It's going to be all about survival of the fit and just getting by. It's going to be purge. It's going to be a purge, straight up purge anarchy, election year. You know, the first purge, all of that. Go watch the purge saga if you ain't watch it already. Verse 17 says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, there's going to be checkpoints, military checkpoints and bases. You know, transportation is going to be dead. This is going to be, you know, all out, you know, just just every man for himself. You know, scripture also says, man shall desire to see another one, another man. You know, verse 18 says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So because of that great pride and YOLO and, you know, the most high, you know, don't don't exist. And the, the atheists and all these proud ass individuals. The Lord is the master at humbling an individual. And we about to see these people out here get greatly humbled. All right. Greatly humbled. Now, those that are humbling themselves going to be exalted in due time. But those that are putting himself up going to be made a base like the scriptures say. And it says that men shall be afraid. Yeah, these niggas going to be scared out here, man. These men are going to be shitting bricks, shitting their pants, you know, pissing their pants, you know, curled up in a fetal position. Um, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, you know, a man, do, do a man travail in pain like a woman? Niggas going to be shook, right? Like Mob Deep said, they going to be shook out here, man, in Babylon, you know. But the elect man is going to be as a hiding place from the wind. While these niggas out here gonna be done. So verse 19, I'm gonna end it. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's purge like activity right there. No pity. You know, if you don't got this, if you don't got the modern day sword and you got the old sword, there's gonna be a lot of chopping going on. Niggas heads gonna be in a chopping block. You know, a lot of cutting, stabbing, juxting, you know. Like, like they say in the, in the UK, niggas gonna come with the shanks. You know? Come out with they shank shanking men and them things. So a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor But shall destroy their house with the sword The weapon And spoil their goods Meaning take their belongings Take whatever is resourceful in that time Because of the lack of bread Food is going to be the number one commodity at that time Alright Food Lack of bread People are going to be out here Bugging the hell out But the elect is going to eat The scripture said that in Isaiah Behold my servant shall eat It says And for great tribulation Which is trouble So because of all these things You know People are going to be out here Lost in a goddamn sauce, man. You know, lost in the sauce. All right. Now, I don't know what this picture is about, but this kind of emphasizes a lot. You know, you got you got Eve over here crying, probably your mother and son. But you know, shit gonna get hectic out here, man. You know, and we put our trust and faith in you. How about Shemir Al Shah, about Shemir Kakwadash? You know, Lord will the Lord have mercy on us. In the back of his vest, I just noticed it says seven seven. Seven, seven, seven is completion. So this shit is almost completed up out of here, man. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shmiao Shah, Bashmikakwadash, and Shalom to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.